When it comes to your family, especially the little members, you want to make sure everyone remains healthy. And this time of year, with school in full swing and the temperatures winding down, sniffles and sneezes are inevitable. Yeah, Lisa, <laughs> I'm sure you've done this for your kids. You know, you give them the proper food. You send them to the doctor when they're sick. And for many, keeping the little ones healthy means popping a daily vitamin. But do they really need those vitamin supplements? Well, it is a valid question. And for any of us, really, after all, the vitamin industry is a more than $30 billion one. And with the gummies, the car cartoon characters and the tasty flavors they're marketing right to kids. But according to one pediatrician, kids don't necessarily need them. Children who eat a normal, well-balanced diet do not need vitamins. Now, that exception is kind of a big one, and that is vitamin D. And what we know is that most children here in the U.S. do not meet their RDA for vitamin D. That recommendation for vitamin D is 600 international units each day, meaning kids should be drinking 32 ounces of milk each day or four cups of fortified milk. They can also have fortified dairy products like yogurt or cheeses. But it is important to note that if your kids are taking vitamins, be sure to keep them out of reach because many of those supplements contain iron, and if iron is overdosed, it can be toxic. Yeah, well, like we just heard, there are plenty of sources of natural nutrients. Take fruits and veggies, for instance. But a new study shows more students are throwing out the fruits and vegetables they're now required to take during school lunches. Get this. Researchers photograph students' trays after leaving the lunch line and then again when leaving the lunch room. The study shows school food waste has increased by 35 percent since the government mandated students take a fruit or a vegetable. Think of the poor kid at the back of the line who is the last one through, and they only have a 15 minutes in total in their lunch period, which means they really only have nine to 10 minutes to eat their food. Concerned about how much time kids are given at lunch, nutrition professor Eric Rim looked at a thousand children in six schools. What they found is that when kids are given less than 15 minutes to eat their lunch, they eat 10 to 15% less of their entrees, vegetable, fruit, and milk, compared to kids who had 25 minutes or more to eat. Rim says over time, that can really add up. If you add that up over the course of the week, it could be about an extra serving of vegetables or an extra serving of fruit that they're missing out on because they're rushing through the meal. And if a child leaves lunch hungry, they're unlikely to perform well in the afternoon and they're more likely to eat unhealthy snacks after school, teaching kids the wrong lessons about good nutrition. If you're going to school where you learn arithmetic and you learn science, you should be learning how to relate to food and having kids only have 10 minutes to eat is probably not a good way to relate to food. Rim says it's up to the superintendents and principals to make lunchtime a priority and to make getting through the cafeteria line more efficient. And while he doesn't expect much to change on the federal level, he hopes the first lady is listening. I'm hoping that Michelle Obama gets to hear about this and to know that this should be part of the conversation because I think she's been a really positive force for getting healthy foods in schools. And I have to agree because when my son, my oldest son was in high school, he said that he didn't eat lunch a lot of times because by the time he got through the lunch line, he only had like 10 minutes to eat. Yeah. And so. I mean, I remember literally sprinting to the cafeteria. Mm -hmm. One, because I was hungry, and two, there just wasn't <laughs> enough time to eat. Not that the cafeteria workers weren't working no. hard, just not enough time. They need to allow more time. Well, for many people, eating healthy means eating organic, but it can be a little pricey and sometimes inconvenient. That's why these two women decided to go into business to change that. Partners in life and partners in business, these two moms, Serafina and Jennifer, are taking farm to table to the frozen food aisle. Come on, girls. Chick, 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 Chef Jennifer Johnson and partner Serafina oh, Palatnik are successful favorite. city girls turned country. See if you can feed One more egg. Grab it. But raising their daughter, Ruby Rose, on a farm is just the start of it. Whoa. I'm totally committed to this idea of feeding our daughter and ourselves organic, freshly made food. They're turning what they've learned here into a groundbreaking organic frozen poultry product company. I want to offer organic poultry products to as many people as possible. People really want to know where their food's coming from. Chef Jen has cooked for President Obama at least three times, but it's her work at a Montessori school that sent her down the fast, fresh yet frozen aisle. I always try to come up with very organic, um, healthy, fun uh, lunches for the kids. Her nuggets were always a hit, so she wanted to produce them for more kids. 
Every parent I know is really suspicious of go what goes into a chicken nugget. Here we go, lunchtime. None of Jen's recipes include starch, salt, or water fillers, a norm in most chicken items, and all of them say exactly where they came from. We really believe in what we're doing. Two moms on a mission to make fast frozen food good for their child and yours. And then one for you. Right now, there are five different Hip Chick Farm products, including organic chicken fingers, antibiotic-free fingers, chicken meatballs, sweet and spicy chicken wings, and gluten-free chicken nuggets. They're sold in more than 800 supermarkets nationwide, including Whole Foods and Safeway. That's a great idea. You know, keep those kids healthy. Right. Yeah. As probably many of you know, I like to eat fairly healthy, but I also like to enjoy a delicious treat every now and then, as do all of us, I'm sure. Well, just after the break, we learn how to make a delicious apple scrapple English muffin recipe. And later, say it isn't so. Yes, it's about time to close the pool. It's no secret there's a lot of work that goes into it, but find out how steps you take now can really pay off come pool time next spring. But first, Sesame Street Live Make a New Friend is coming to Salisbury October 6th and 7th at the Wicomico Youth and Civic Center, and we want to give you tickets to see the show. We're giving away a family four pack of tickets each day beginning Monday through Wednesday and two on Thursday. For your chance to win, go to WBOC.com and click on our picture at the top of the page. For your link to the contest, fill in the required fields and click Submit. Good luck. And we'd like to announce today's winner, Crystal McGee of Harrington in Kent County. Congratulations. Delmarva Life, we'll be right back.